what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys we here had a special request and we got hungry in romania the complicated neighbor about to check this out appreciate you guys for sending me this recommendation hey y'all know what to do hit that subscribe button continue to send me some video suggestions and let's check out uh first time checking out hungry i think i did i believe i did the eurovision and i know i did romania i got a couple of videos on romania so y'all make sure y'all check out that playlist but Let's check this out. Hungary and Romania are two countries in Europe. This is Hungary and this is Romania. Both countries are part of the European Union and NATO and are now mostly cooperative. However, deep inside, the relations are very complicated and some still don't like each other. <laughs> But before that, let's describe both countries first, shall we? Hungary is a landlocked country in Central Europe surrounded by seven countries, mm. including Romania. Its capital is Budapest and its language is Hungarian, a Uralic language related to Finnish and Estonian, which is not Indo-European. It has over 9 million people, mm. sadly declining but trying hard to go up, in which Almost one out of five people live in Budapest. Much of the population adheres to Catholic faith. Geographically, it is located in the Pannonian Basin, in which it is surrounded by mountain ranges, making it generally flat. Oh, wow. And of course, the famous Franz Liszt and Erno Rubik are Hungarians. What? Is this the guy that created the Rubik's Cube or something? Famous Franz Liszt and... Oh. I didn't know the Rubik's Cube was Hungarian. Erno Rubik are Hungarians. Romania, on the other hand, is a country located at the crossroads of Central, Eastern, and Southeastern oh, Europe. Wow. It borders five countries, including Hungary. It also borders the Black Sea to the east. And this is also where the mighty Danube River discharges. Its capital is Bucharest. And do not Budapest. ever confuse Budapest <laughs> with Bucharest. Hey, go lie, they kind of sound the same. It, it wouldn't be hard to uh, confuse the two. They sound the same. Budapest, it's Bucharest. Bucharest. And do not ever confuse Budapest with Bucharest. Budapest, we'll explain Bucharest. Later. Its language is Romanian, a Latin derived language, making it related to Italian, French, etc. It has 19 million people, also sadly mm. declining. Much of the population adheres to orthodox faith. Geographically, the Carpathian Mountains chain span across the country, dividing it into three historical regions, Wallachia, Moldavia, and Transylvania. Transylvania. Romania is famous for Dracula, Dacia cars, and some more. Okay, I remember seeing Transylvania. Uh, one of my favorite movies is Hotel Transylvania. So that kind of makes sense. Pennsylvania. I believe the they lived in this castle right here. Pennsylvania is famous for Dracula, Dacia cars, and some more. Let's talk about their capitals. It is really, really important to know Budapest, their distinction, Budapest. or else you'll end up committing the same mistakes as Michael Jackson did in 1992. First of all, Bucharest is indeed not Hungarian, and Budapest is indeed not Romanian. Budapest is divided by the Danube into two. Buddha and Pest. Buddha is on the left side of the river and also holds the Buddha castle, hence the name. Generally, it is more hilly and most historical. Wow. Pest, on the other hand, is located on the other side, which holds the parliament building and is more modern compared to Buddha. Meanwhile, in Bucharest, the city is the capital of the Principality of Wallachia since 1659 and has served as an integral capital of Romania. The name Bucharest means city of joy in Romanian from the word stem Bucuri meaning joy. Okay, so it definitely got some good meaning, but Matt, I'm just thinking, I'm, in my head, I'm just over here like Budapest, Bucharest, Budapest, Bucharest, Budapest, Bucharest. You can get them confused. I, like, if you say them too fast, you can get them confused. The city is situated on the banks of the Dembovita River, which flows into the Argesh River a tributary of the Danube. It is known in the past as Little Paris due to its charming beauty. Today, the city is a mix of classical, modern, and communist architecture. Wow. Romania and Hungary today have bilateral relations and are very close in terms of business and economy. 
working together as both EU members. However, historical relations are but really complicated wars. and even today, these historical issues are still present and affecting bilateral ties. It all goes down to this region now part of Romania, Transylvania, which many Hungarians believe that it should be a rightful Dang. part of their territory, <laughs> or at least autonomy. But hungary romania relations go way back a long time ago. Back then in antiquity, the Roman Empire was really really huge and controlled parts of today's Romania, called Dacia. The Latin language later evolved into vulgar Latin in the area and became ancestors of today's Romanian language. The Roman Empire also conquered Pannonia, located mostly in western Hungary. By the Middle Ages, some Slavic tribes entered the Balkans and isolated the Roman-speaking population from the rest of the Romans' world. Wow. Also, by the time, the Huns conquered vast lands, including today's Hungary, although they aren't really related. They had contacts with Proto-Hungarians and pushed them off to Siberia. Dang. The Magyars would later wander westward and cross the Carpathian Mountains and settle in the Carpathian Basin with the help of a certain oh, wow. Arpad. Then drove off the Bulgarians. At the time, it controlled much of the Balkans and had a massive empire. Hungary would become a massive Christian kingdom in the Carpathian Basin, controlling all of Transylvania. The rest of today's Romania are under So who does Transylvania belong to these days? Controlling all of Transylvania. The rest of today's Romania are under a series of Turkic and Mongol rule until two new principalities, Moldavia and Wallachia, were born in the 1300s, which had been under Hungarian influence after the Mongols fell. The Ottoman Turks later came and screwed the Hungarians, Dang. forcing it to be pushed westward, where it would seek the Austrian Habsburgs for help. Wallachia and Moldavia later became vassal states of the Ottomans, in which it would stay independent in its internal policies, but it should pay tributes and grant concessions to the empire. Later, the Principality of Transylvania was born, and also a vassal state but dominated by Hungarians. Fast forward to the 19th century, the United Principalities of Moldavia and Wallachia are now independent and then joined to become the Kingdom of Romania. Okay. And Transylvania is now to be part of Hungary. Okay. which is under a dual monarchy with Austria. There is a significant Romanian population in Transylvania, which is subject to Magyarization, oh, wow. and hence, they so want to So it belongs to, to Hungary, but a lot of Romanians are there. Hmm. That's in very Transylvania, interesting. Which is subject to Magyarization, and hence, they want to join Romania. During World War I, Romania joined the Allies in 1916 in order to unite all the Romanian-speaking population particularly in Transylvania, and was later subdued by the Central Powers capturing Bucharest. When World War I ended, fighting did not <laughs> stop in Romania, and it later proceeded to Transylvania, hence beginning the Hungarian-Romanian War. Austria-Hungary oh, is on the losing side of World War I, and Romania took it as an opportunity to reunite with the Romanians living in Transylvania, and so they did on December 1. Hungary is kinda getting revolutionary and became a communist Soviet Republic under Bela Kun and began to attack Romanian positions. However, Romania is gradually advancing deep into Hungary and later Budapest was captured and occupied by Romanian forces, oh, stopping the communist government. A certain Admiral Miklos Horthy rose to power during the Romanian occupation and the Romanians left Hungary proper after the Allies told them to do so. In 1920, if you are Hungarian, perhaps you will consider this year as the worst year in Hungarian history. That sucks. Because the Treaty of Trianon gave Romania full control of Transylvania. Remember, for a long time, Transylvania was a long part of Hungary, hence we'll live, many who live there are ethnically Hungarian, particularly the CK land. And of course, Hungarians wanted Transylvania back. Dang. This resulted to ethnic tensions, but it didn't really spring significantly until World War II. Oh. When Romania ceded some of its territory, particularly Bukovina and Bessarabia, to the USSR, Hungary now wanted to solve the Transylvanian question <laughs> and wanted it all. Romania said no. Man, and like, they really, both, uh, both countries, they really want Transylvania. 
I feel like I need to do some stuff about Transylvania and see like what's so special that they just want it and need it. You know, of course it's it's land, but it got to be something deeper than that. You know, they're fighting back and forth for this. Relations broke down. Romania didn't really want to lose more territory and also didn't really want to fight the Hungarians. As a compromise, Romania offered Hungary to have Northern Transylvania, which is okay, the they're splitting it. That's okay. but the transfer isn't so easy. There is already a huge Romanian population living there, in which the Hungarians are ready to deport. Hence, ethnic clashes. The Romanians did the same to Hungarians in Southern Transylvania, mm. but nevertheless, they are both actually allied against the USSR and fought them together. When it became clear that the USSR will win, Romania actually turned against the Axis oh, and of man. course it also turned against Hungary. Hungary's borders were reset to the Trianon ones and Romania regained Northern Transylvania after the war, in which Hungary isn't exactly delighted but its tensions are silenced now since father Soviet Union made both countries puppet states. <laughs> In the recent years, relations are improving between both countries. That's a good thing. Hungary supported Romania's bid to join the EU. Both countries are also signing bilateral treaties for mutual understanding and diplomatic cooperation. Business is also crucial between both countries. Hungary ranks as the third trade partner of Romania after Germany and Italy. Cross-border cooperation initiatives are also being carried out with the support of the EU. Romania though is not part of the Schengen area, while Hungary is. The one issue that affects the current bilateral ties between both countries is the issue of Hungarian minority in Romania, which accounts for at least 6.1% of the population. Some areas, such as the CK land, have Hungarians as majority. And a question for autonomy is carried out. During the communist years, there was indeed an autonomous region called the Magyar Autonomous Region, but it was put down under the Ceausescu regime in 1968. When the bilateral treaty was signed after the fall of communism, Hungary renounced all claims to Transylvania, in turn for Romania respecting the rights of Hungarian minorities living there. Of course, there are some nationalist Hungarians who still wanted it back, which are least likely to be friends with Romania. And here we are today. One can this say that the ultra-nationalist Hungarians and ultra-nationalist Romanians will not get with each other. But well, no one wants a conflict these days and both should cooperate further for a better get to cooperate. Which is fortunately at least happening today compared 100 years ago. Both are very vibrant countries with so many beautiful sights to come across. That's good. Just never ever <laughs> confuse Budapest, Budapest and Bucharest. Bucharest, please. Thank you for watching and please. Okay, okay, yeah, that's uh, that definitely sounds very very complicated. Hungary and Romania, that's a complicated relationship. That sound like y'all fighting over that piece of land of Transylvania. You know, one would give and you want it back. You know, I feel like I feel like Transylvania got between both of them, you know. But eventually everything worked out, you know. But I, I don't know how it is now. I see different countries that, you know, clash. But, you know, now, they, you know, they love each other like a brother, sister, brother, brother, sister, sister relationship type of thing. I don't know if that's the same when it comes to Hungary and Romania. Y'all let me know if you're from these two countries. But, you know, that's how it is. You know, sometimes you fight. Sometimes you you love each other and work together and stuff like that. Yeah, that's how life is. That's how life is. But definitely appreciate y'all for sending me this recommendation. Y'all make sure y'all send me some more video suggestions. Hit that subscribe button. And y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.